Hello, I'm Desiree Dubonnet, running for president as a write-in candidate. I'm going to give you a most fantastic idea to try to help America save the middle class, especially. Now, America has been attacked, just like our American Eagle here is being attacked. And 41% of Americans lost their jobs and are having trouble affording basic needs. We need to do something to help these people. This is the problem, helping the middle class right now. And the greatness of a nation could be judged by the way it treats its animals. That's what Gandhi said. But I think that the greatness of the nation shall be judged by how you treat the poor, elderly, destitute, and sick. Now, Let's try to end destitution by giving money to the middle class. We see that more and more people are becoming destitute in America. It's estimates up to 50 million people living in extreme poverty, not getting what they need in America. And this type of destitution creates many, many problems. In fact, it's the fear of destitution that leads to much of the crime that happens in America. People are afraid of destitution, a lot of the petty crime. The middle class is, is in desperate straits. I think that's Edward sort of, Wolf that's is a professor of economics line. at New York University. They, uh, today, the uh, average family has enough financial reserves to keep it going for about uh, three weeks. That's, that's, that's it. And that's, that's middle income. And if you go further down the ladder, Basically, uh, the financial reserves can keep the family going for, for a couple of days at most. And so, you know, these financial uh, reserves have just completely evaporated. The middle class has been brutalized and things stolen from them. What if we were to now pay the middle class money and pay them money to supply things to the destitute? The, help, the helpless. What if we were to do that? Now let's think about this as I explore this for another couple of minutes. Bear with me now. Because our friend FDR, he said that necessitous men are not free men. And that drives them into some types of crime. But what about a good education? He came up with a second Bill of Rights to supply every American with a home, a living, education. And then they tried to kill him possibly because of that. Now, more and more people are destitute in America. We do not want to give these people money. They don't know how to spend money. They could be easily, they'll lose it. So we give them vouchers for housing. We give them vouchers for food, clothing, the necessities. And we print money for the middle class. We print money to give to the middle class to supply the homeless and the destitute with homes, food, clothing, shelter, jobs, all of this. Now this money that we give to the middle class, we don't give money to the poor people, we give vouchers, but the middle class will then take this money and buy things and of course, as it always does, the money will trickle up to the rich class. The rich people will benefit from this as well. But we don't want the rich people directly benefiting. We want to make sure that the middle class is benefiting from this. Because the middle class is in dire straits now. Yes, we can print money. We printed money to give to the rich people. We can print money because what is that makes the money is what's behind it. And what's behind our money in America is the American consumer. The American consumer is why the rest of the world will applaud the decision to give people, to give money to the middle class. Because the middle class will buy all of the stupid things that the rest of the world is selling to us. Analyze this. Think. Come close. Look. And recognize that as the middle class makes money helping the destitute, we not only take care of our destitute, we lower the crime rate. We help to protect people. We then make sure that these people are taken care of. The middle class will benefit from this as they supply this needed service to people. 
and even the ultra-rich will benefit from an increase in our economy. With 50 million poor, we will then ask the middle-income businesses to start to supply the food, the health care, even shopping, to these destitute people. This will take trillions of dollars. This could take trillions and trillions of dollars, but it will be worth it in the end to make America great, stimulate our economy, and end destitution, and weaken the threat of crime. Let's listen to FDR on his second Bill of Rights. Certain economic truths have become accepted as self-evident. A second Bill of Rights under which a new basis of security and prosperity can be established for all, regardless of station or race or creed. Among these are the right to a useful and remunerative job in the industries or shops or farms or mines throughout the nation, the right to earn enough to provide adequate food and clothing and recreation, the right of every farmer to raise and sell his products at a return which will give him and his family a decent living. The right of every businessman, large and small, to trade in an atmosphere of freedom, freedom from unfair competition and domination by monopolies at home or abroad. The right of every family to a decent home, the right to adequate medical care and the opportunity to achieve and enjoy good health, the right to adequate protection from the economic fears of old age, sickness, accidents, and unemployment, the right to a good education. All of these rights spell security. George Carlin now would tell us what's really happening in America, how the ultra-rich ownership class controls things. All these, all, the ownership class in this country, this country is owned by eight or nine hundred people who run everything, do everything, control everything. They have this guy, Clinton gets in, fine, we can deal with him. Kerry gets right. in, fine, we can deal with him. It's just in the wind, it's a little reed like this. It, it's all one big ownership class and they, you know, it's just, it's Now here you have a candidate that will stop this without doubt, a candidate that will fund the middle class and help end destitution. We bring America back. And I'm Desiree DuVernay, and I'm trying to help you to understand that we can help America to restore. Please recognize, I'm a write-in candidate. Talk about these things. Share and care this information. Thank you.